Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jessica Hare. I'm sure everyone here has heard of the stereotype that people with mixed Western and Asian backgrounds are naturally more beautiful. However, looking good isn't as easy as it seems. I mean, we're more than just a pretty face. I'm a unique blend of two vibrant cultures, Australia and China. In Chinese, I'm a huishar, translated as mixed blood. However, many professors from MIT refer to it as mixed race or biracial. Today, I invite you to join me on a journey. Buckle your seatbelts as we ride through the doors that separates us from a world of possibilities. Have you been misunderstood based solely on your appearance? This is my Asian mom who's in the audience today. Hi, mom. This is a story of when people don't realize I'm actually Chinese. I remember an incident when I was on a flight, watching the Chinese flight attendant walk around. As she approached me, asking what drink I wanted, I noticed a puzzled expression cross her face. Her brows rose in confusion as she struggled to find the right words, however, determined to approach me in English. To her surprise, I responded fluently in Chinese. The shock followed by relief that spread across her face was truly memorable. Have you ever felt like you belong to a culture but never truly a part of it? This is my Western dad, who's also in the audience today. This story is a disconnection from my Western culture. As to Australia, while they may speak English there, the Australian dialect can be quite foreign to an untrained ear. It happened when I was in fourth grade with an Australian teacher. One day, she noticed a rash of red spots on my arm and exclaimed, Oh no, Jessica, did you get bitten by mozzies? I stared at her in total bewilderment, wondering what on earth she was talking about. Mozzies? She then quickly clarified, mosquitoes, Jessica, mosquitoes. Growing up in China, I've always felt a stronger connection to the Chinese side of my identity. So this is me from my first day of school. Trust me, I felt a lot happier than I may have looked. I have been a student at YCIS, an international school that has allowed me to balance the two sides of my cultural heritage. The curriculum celebrates both Chinese and Western cultures, providing me with a well understanding of my dual identity. However, I've often wondered how my life may have differed if I had grown up in Australia. It is at these times when I start to wonder whether people mixed race like me share similar pathways. So, I conducted a survey which targeted 9 to 22 years old who each have one parent from a Western culture and one from an Asian culture. I was surprised to receive over 50 responses with results like I realized over 90% of people were made assumptions about their looks and are told they're more beautiful. I realized a solid 82% felt a greater connection to the culture they grew up in. And finally, 92% were interested in basing their identities further and meeting more culturally similar people. Some quoted their experiences being mixed race, like their lives being an eye-opening experience. It's great as you get to experience the best of both worlds, and why have one race when you can have two? However, there was one quote that deeply resonated with me. Someone said, people often ask if I'm from Xinjiang. Like, I've been asked that so many times too. The survey brought hidden connections to the surface. I realized all the universal voices that are hidden, buried in a single mind. My results highlighted that we do in fact share experiences. So we should be the bridge, taking the initiative to reach out to others. In just four years time, I will graduate from YCIS and perhaps study at a university in Australia. I am really looking forward to discovering the other half of my heart and culture. So I say to everyone, we should live courageously and embrace our authentic selves. 
Start today. Start by digging into your past like I did. Start by connecting with people just like you. Each and every identity, it's unique, it's special, it's beautiful. This could be your journey, one that never truly ends, but it's never too late to start. Just ask yourself, do you truly know who you are? Thank you.